Hey everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Stairs, and welcome back to more Life is Strange True Colors. I have every intention of finishing this game today. Uh, so if you don't see a costume change on me by the end, I have succeeded. If I've changed my shirt, I've failed. Just, just use that as your reference point. We're gonna get back into more Life is Strange, um, just to give a brief recap, um, we fell further down the well, and now I think we're in, well, well, mine shaft, air ventilation, um, and now we're, like, trapped in these, like, horrific, tragic memories, um, that we're being forced to relive as adults, and we're just supposed to play our parts, uh, and by we, I mean me and Gabe, um, Gabe and I, technically, um, so... I'm 11, he's 15, he and dad are fighting, and I have to do something about this in the only way that I know how. So let's hop on in. Might as well play, because putting on music and drowning them out is the only way. Too bad we don't know what it's going to be, but because it's probably copywritten. Oof. But it's getting way worse. At least we know that's why I'm into music. What's happening? Also, super cool that that's got Wi-Fi built in. Or not Wi-Fi, but like Bluetooth in a record player like that. They can Bluetooth connect to the, the headset. Oh, she's rubbing mom's necklace. I've done that. I've like gone for my my necklace, and I've gone for my ring, and... Oh. I love the sound design in this game. Alex? Hey! Oh. It's okay. It's just me. Current. Current you? you? Know that's not how it went down, right? I know. You gotta relive the whole thing. Go back to the record player. <sighs> Man, I wish my record player could, like, Bluetooth to headphones. That'd be great. I still have, like, a pretty modern record player, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I didn't put on the headphones and drown out. To keep the peace. But no matter what I did... Because that's what mom wanted you to do. Mom and dad had this TV before they had either of us. I think I had a TV stand like that, by the way. Shrine, yeah. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. To be strong or to keep them from fighting? Because she technically made you do two promises. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. Oh. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. I'm really glad that she did. Backpack. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Oh. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when hey. it was windy. It was too gory for me. Yeah. Music book, though. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Hey, <laughs> hey! I'm glad though that she has the acknowledgement to do that, to like know that cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. This is why I make my man clean his own ashtray. Mom's old sewing kit. <laughs> Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Oh man, you're playing right in on that. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. Oh. It was full of greeting cards. Hey. Kept every single one we ever got. I kind of do that. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Oh. Thanks for trying, Lucky Cat. Yep, the same one that was on Mom's keys. I can't believe they were ever this happy. <sighs> and sickness and life will do that to you. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. 
cornstarch. I know what they're using that cornstarch for. That's what you you wrap your tofu in cornstarch before you fry that stuff. We never really touched these after mom died. Oh. She was such a two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Huh. Sorry. Almost empty. Almost always. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Huh. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's fear coming out of that. Some kind of fight. Hey Gabe, I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. Oh. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Nope, no he's not, please. Please leave. No. Oh gosh, you know what, we were, yeah, that, that was like uh, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school. And my dad, like, he Clever. was, um, helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay? All right. Gotta go out there. Anything else that I can vibe with? Even Shoo Shoo? All right. Through the door. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. Oh. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um. I don't know, dad. But what are we supposed to do now? Yeah. We gotta eat. We can sell some records, or or what about my guitar? We can sell that. Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about mom. Gabe, I'm so tired uh, of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Like don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, uh, Gabe's gonna uh, blow up over Dad. this. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. Oh. I can't do this. Oh, Dad. Oh no. Oh no. What's someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Oh no. He turned to alcoholism to deal. And what, is he now running away? Dad. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. Dad! <gasps> That's why she doesn't wear the necklace. She broke it. He took it with him. The coward that he is. <sighs> She's afraid. She has to go through all of her own emotions. All of her own colors. She's been repressing over the years. Are we gonna get to see her with Steph again? Since that would be her one yellow. Shushu does look a little banged up. Return. She tried. She tried and tried and tried. Ugh. Hey, can I ask you a question? Oh, boy. 
Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Uh, you know... Kind of thought it'd be nicer. It wouldn't. I can't do this, okay? I... This is gonna be anger, I think. I can't. You need to. No. You need to go through it. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. No, not Almost. quite. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. Huh. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Yeah, not human. Your own emotions don't belong to you. That. You and now nothing. you have to reclaim them. No one. You are alone. Yeah. I don't want this. Alex. Anger. Play your part. This is anger. Anger is the emotion you feel to... Play my part. Anger is the emotion that you feel to cover up for another emotion you're feeling. I used to write one every day. Stupid. He wasn't going to come back. Why? You clearly missed him. He wasn't and I coming back. He missed me. Hence, stupid. Shoo shoo. How are you holding up, shoe? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Yep. Guess I missed a few days. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Eesh. Uh I hate that. We I weren't allowed. Oh. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Yep. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. Pretty sure it's locked. Yep. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. Med chart. God. They put me on so many meds. <sighs> Instead of actually giving her a proper therapist, but let's see. Alex Chen. Oh my god. Why are they giving her all of these? What? She's... Let's see. 12? I think he said. 12 or 13. Um, and they've got her on aripaprazole, 15 milligrams, which is a very low dosage. Um, lithium RX, 900 milligrams. Methyl fendiate, I think that's 40 milligrams, breakfast and lunch. Respiridone, 3 milligrams, once a day. Wait. Isn't Respiridone not supposed to be for kids? Or am I misunderstanding that? But if you notice, almost everybody on the list is on Apiproprizol. Ugh, I wonder what it's for. Did any of them ever work? No. Some of them help. A little. None of them fix me. Meds aren't supposed to help fix- They're not supposed to fix you. Empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, it's not. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Yep. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I mean, te technically she's right. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. Hey. Residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside of designated free time. Glass and silverware to remain in the canteen. Do not bring these into the dormitory. Non-residential guests are not permitted in the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere to any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Yeah, that's a lie. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. 
Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. Yep. Anger. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? Yeah. Oh. We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. Yeah, but then so can all the other kids. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. They didn't want you using the wires Alex, for anything. That's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! That was the worst thing that you could have done as an admin. That is her escape, and you just try to take that away from her. <sighs> Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Yep. Did it help? Nope. Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. I remember the kid who put this here. And everything has this fucking Sadie place. Sally. Um something with an S. You were yeah. friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Oh her lips did move for that. Okay. Maybe that's because I'm actually talking to Gabe and not just thinking it. Anything else I can vibe with? No. But that'll have to be for the next time. Oh, there's a lot of emotions happening. And, like, yeah, anger is going to be this one because we're clearly seeing the color of the small object um, before it gets connected to, like, the big thing, right? So in the hospital room, we saw blue, like a blue object, and then we had a sad scene. In the house, we had a purple object, and then we had the purple scene. Here, we have a red object. We're going to have the red scene, which I'm sure we actually already know about because we read through the memories. And she freaked out on some girl and physically attacked her. So that's what I'm thinking is going to be the case in this one. Um, it's going to be tied to that somehow. And probably tied into the guitar and the guitar strings somehow as well. Just kind of the same way that the other two items were. So I hope that um, since this is all colors, that maybe we won't just fixate on the bad emotions. I mean, I know that she's trying to obscure the bad emotions and the bad memories, but I hope that we get to relive some happy ones, too, just to make it not seem like it's all so desolate. So, but anyway, thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. Take care, everyone.